Good morning. Welcome to Enlightened Heart Soul Connection. I'm Naomi. <clears throat> this morning we're working with coming into alignment with our manifestation energy. We've got alignment out here and manifestia. So, whoever I'm speaking to recently has gone through um, an energy alignment where they are coming into um, your power. You've transformed. Yeah, it's like I'm getting an analogy of a flower who, who's who been, <coughs> okay, like, for example, like a corpse flower only blooms like once every 10 years. But when it does, it's magnificent to behold. All right, Spirit, what can we tell the collective about them coming in alignment with their manifestation power? The Six of Wands and the Page of Swords. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the Ace of Swords. Four of coins, four of cups. And strength, okay, good, thank you, spirit. So I see that you recently have been in this energy of stagnation. Doubt and fear, there. But you overcame it by harnessing your internal strength. Taking control of the beast. The Ace of Swords is like the um, divine directly God. They directly got their hands on you and started to open your eyes and give you more clarity. You came into alignment. Came into alignment. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you got... Okay, so the Divine gave you this new clarity. It... Or they brought your sovereignty to the forefront of your mind and you remembered who you were and that was the catalyst to your victory and success realizing that you still have one full cup 
also you balance your masculine and feminine energies we all have masculine and feminine within us the masculine is like the caregiver the or not the caregiver the protector the um the breadwinner the feminine is the nurturer and the um, caregiver yeah and you recently brought all of that into alignment good for you perfect okay what else can we tell the collective let's look at the past what show me the energy that had the collective in Stagnation, justice, four of wands. Really? Mm, eight of swords, the devil, the queen of swords. swords at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, For some of you, you may be, were trapped in a situation, or you felt trapped, because we're never trapped, right? We always have the option to leave. The underlying energy with the Ten of Swords is like, you took on so much burden, so much responsibility. This is Queen of Swords. You are very much in your masculine energy with no balance of feminine. So, and you were carrying all that to the point where it literally was putting you down. You probably were sleeping a lot you were stressed out reclusive didn't want to hang out with anybody i see that you were in a partnership with someone or <clears throat> locked into a job where you felt like you were trapped like a, a contract like a contractual um prison almost um you felt like you were trapped, but if you look at this Eight of Swords here, she's tied together with what looks like tissue paper and blindfolded, right? So she cannot see that all she's got to do is back up to one of those swords and <clears throat> break herself free. It's not chained. She's not chained. This could be the energy of someone who feels trapped by a marriage because the Four of Wands is out here with, um, you know, the Four of Wands. That's, that's the uh, coming together, celebrating, collaborating with a loved one type thing uh, uh, energy. That's like locking yourself in. Walking through the gate hand in hand with someone. I feel for most of you like that is what this energy is here. You were like off your rocker. 
bitchy, very, very stuck in your masculine energy for a long time. And then justice was called to balance out the situation. You learned enough lessons and spirit had to intervene. You went from very bitchy, um, cut your head off type energy to more uh, logical, rational thinking. I want to find out more about this Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, Devil energy real fast. Can you tell me about this Four of Swords? Or I'm sorry, Four of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the Devil, please. The Priestess and the Seven of Wands. And the Six of Wands again. It was very challenging, but it was like Spirit gave you, up here with the Ace of Swords, Spirit gave you the clarity to be able to see the situation for exactly what it was. Through all the deceit and illusion and um, also we've got Leo energy out here. Um, Leo and Venus. I don't know that that it might matter to somebody. I saw it and said it so that there might be a message there for somebody. But we've got the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so it took a lot of courage and it took a lot of strength but you were victorious because you saw the situation for what it was you're also very tapped in you're very tapped into spirit um And spirit sees you as a divine being and now they're showing you that you're a divine being all right what else spirit can we please tell the collective about alignment and manifestia tell me more about this victory Your victory was your victory was waking up <clears throat> to a much more balanced. grounded and stable personality I'm hearing it doesn't feel like it fits here though it was like you woke up one morning and all of a sudden there was this change to your a change to your energy body
Like it was suddenly balanced out. It was like you went to sleep one night and you woke up <clears throat> with a um, renewed sense of innocence, a renewed understanding of what and who you are. No masks. But this was all divine. This was all divine intervention. You were definitely in a <clears throat> in a place where you were stuck and couldn't move forward. And you tried and tried and tried. But every time you turned around, there was more competition for your energy. There was more responsibility that you were, you know, like, like the kids and the husband were fighting for your attention. And work was demanding more time from you, you know, your um, car needed an oil change and you just couldn't muster up the strength to go and have it done because the one day that you're off work, all you want to do is sleep, that kind of thing. And it was like, then just one morning you woke up and everything was right with the world and it didn't matter if you did it today because it was going to be there tomorrow. Like you just woke up with a much more balanced perspective on things. What else, spirit, please? What else can we tell the collective, please? Lots of Pentacles here. So out right now is the six of Earth Guardians, Judgment with Collective Awakening, and Sky now with the seven of Earth Guardians. Okay, so... You woke up. Divine justice came in to change your perspective. You balanced the beast within. You woke up with a clear vision. The phrase head up in the clouds is coming to my head, but we've got the seven of earth guardians, ten of portals, eight of activations. So the lesson in all of this was <clears throat> get your head out of the clouds, reclaim your power, and that is how you get to your happy ending, your abundance of joy, your heart opening up. But I'm also seeing butterflies, hummingbirds, and dragonflies, bees. With this seven of earth guardians, I'm also feeling um, the energy of let your imagination run wild and take you to where you need to go. Your power, because we are talking about coming into alignment and manifesting, your power lies within your imagination. So the underlying energy of all of this is the Six of Wands, the Catalyst, the Chariot, and the Ace of Light Codes. This is your underlying energy, okay? <clears throat> so, all right, so there's just, there's some work that still needs to be done. 
when judgment was called, when the divine came in. They came to help they came to help you because you're chosen. You um were born to be victorious. This is the six of wands out here twice. You on this card it's called gold of the earth. You are special. You are um to be treated with the utmost respect, you are valuable, and you are seen by spirit. The chariot here is defined with dimensional shifts of the crystalline, so you may be drawn to crystals, right? You may be like me, and you may have a million of them. And every week I buy more. Shh, don't tell Adam. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but this also talks about the, um, the rhombohedron crystals within our pineal glands. Um, this is those crystals loosening up and, and the calcification coming away and your pineal gland opening up. And with every single, with every single little bit of trauma, of um, horrible, sh horrible things that you start about yourself, that you start identifying when you're doing shadow work, you are opening up and well okay you're dissolving more calcification off your pineal gland and you are coming more into alignment with spirit the six of light codes this is your um pineal gland opening up and connecting you to the six upper seven six or seven upper chakras but i believe it starts with our third eye so this is connection this is connection to the universe this is golden child energy this is chosen one energy 144,000 energy the 144,000 are here to wake up the collective I'm here to wake up the 144,000 <laughs> because I am the catalyst. <laughs> um, and then with the ace of light codes down here, this is brand new um, creator energy that you have tapped into where you can literally sit back, use your imagination and um, create anything you want for your life. You want an abundance of money? Go buy a lottery ticket. It's yours. You want an abundance of love? Go to the grocery store. Your next husband's there. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you can literally create anything. This is Kundalini activation. Um, this is connection to the tree of life. Connection to source. Connection to the angels. This is connection to everything. So I want to close this reading off with an oracle card to kind of give you a little bit of, um, maybe not necessarily advice, but... Just something to walk away with to close this reading out. 
your imagination is going to play a very important role in the next couple of weeks. I recommend that you go down to your local Dollar General and pick you up a notebook and start journaling every day. Even, even if you only put one word in it. Write down your dreams. Get ChatGBT on your phone so that way you can write your dreams down in the journal. And ChatGBT will um, kind of give you a starting point to your dreams where you can look at them um, a little more subject uh, objectively. It's very good at um, the symbolism within the dream state. Okay. So your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, creative accountability. That's what I just got through saying. So even in your journaling, you know, you can write down the things that you want to see your life turning out to be. I remember soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny life, and the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen, and at the bottom of the deck is lifting the veil. You've lifted the veil, the veil. anything unaligned must go, question everything. That's what your journal's for. We hold, as 144,000, we hold so much information within our DNA that is starting to wake up, break free from the microscopic DNA code, and come into the forefront of our pineal glands, and we're starting to see everything. You know, we we were born with God's name written on our forehead. We were born with our pineal glands already open. We go through life, and that's when the calcification happens. But because we're chosen, we chose the hardest lives for ourselves. Remember that. Remember that you are I am. I am a creator. I am source code material. I am a soldier for the most high. I am a light worker, okay? Understand the power within the I am. You're a multi-dimensional creature. You take on the wings of the eagle whenever you sleep at night. One of your gifts, quite literally, could be remote viewing. And it may have tripped you out in the past, but you're going to start understanding it for what it is. Because the veil is lifting. Alright. I love you guys. Don't forget to get your journals and start writing this stuff down as it's happening to you. Get the shadow work done. Go buy the shadow work journal. Um, if I can figure out how to do Amazon um, affiliate links, I'll post my favorite shadow work journal in the description. If I can't figure it out, doesn't matter. I love you guys anyway. You're pretty smart. All right. I love you. I want you to enjoy the day today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.